I'm here to talk about desktop publishing in Word. And I'm going to be working with this document that I have here. This is part of my class uh, where I show people how to do things, including, we're making this a newsletter, bottom line. I'm working with Office 2013, Word 2013. This will work with earlier versions. You might have a few less features, but overall it works. First thing I want to do here, I want I have about five pages here, over 2,000 words. Part of the thing when you're doing this here, instead of doing it in Publisher or InDesign, you're going to have to do some editing here, okay? You even have to do editing in these more advanced programs here. We could set up a newsletter in a few columns in, I wouldn't say minimal time, but if you don't have the software, this is the way to go. First thing I want to do, I want to globally set all the font. I want to uh, create the columns here. First thing I want to do, I'm going to go into page layout and then I'm going to go into the margins here. You have one inch here. I'm going to go custom margins here. Half inch top, bottom, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, half inch. So that's all changed here. What I want to do here, I want to turn everything into three columns. Highlight all the text, control A. I'm on the page layout tab. I go to columns. We have three, four here. I'm going to click on more columns. I want to show you a couple of extra features here. I say three. You can make custom widths here. Keeping this simple. Line between. Looks a little more elegant when we do that. So we've got that there. Now you have this extra space here. If I right click inside here, I go into paragraph. It shows that I have 24 points here. I'm just going to make it zero. So it brings it up there. A lot of times people, you can have e everything fully justified. Highlight all the text again. On the home tab, I click on justify. You got that here. As you go here, you could see in this line here how it spread this out here. What you do get in here sometimes, like this here, I would want to justify that to the left. So I go over there. You have to look at things when you're doing this. I'm going to be doing a few things here. Uh, one thing that you can do, which is kind of fun, you could have drop caps. We've seen these in books here. If I click over here and I go onto the design tab here, I should say insert, sorry. And then you have um, drop cap. Dropped. If you do the in margin here, it's going over there. That ain't good here. You have options here. I'm going to click on dropped. You don't want it. You could just click on drop cap and you could say none. Uh, it looks kind of nice to do this on occasion here. It's also good if you're trying to fill the page a little bit more. So you've got that in there. So it's giving you visual interest. Next thing I want to do. I want to put a headline at the top. Different ways of doing it. I want to do word art. I click on word art. You could choose any style. I've discovered the more conservative, the better it looks. You use these hokey ones here. It's not so good. We're going to move this up here later on. I'm going to type in all about, I could put a capital A there, about tigers. And then if I want to make it I click inside here. Uh, what I'm going to do, I got the blue underline because it wants a small A here. I'm going to click on Format. Okay. I can make this wider. You got this at the far right here. And I want to make this about, let's say, let's say 7 inches. Hit the Enter. Okay. The text, we can make the text bigger here. I want to pull this at the top here. I'm going to click on Wrap Text. I'm going to say top and bottom. It's in the wrong place. I literally click on here and pull it to the top of the page. If I want to see this here, I hit the minus here a bit. It brings it down. Bring it up to the top of the page. It gets funky. I'll tell you that right now. I am using the arrow keys now. Up arrow keys are very, very helpful. I'm going to scroll up to the top here. On here. We got it above. We can do a lot of things with this here. I want to make the font bigger. I could do it different ways. I'm going to go to the Home tab. 
I'm going to make, let's say I want to make it 40. I don't have the word 40 here. I just literally type in 40. A little wider here. I'm going to make it like 72. So that goes across the page. I've got the paragraph marker on. You can shut it off here and there. If you don't want that blue showing up in there, you right click in here and just say ignore. That way it makes life easier. I look in here. I want to make it a little shallower. I click on the dot at the bottom. All about tigers. So we've got that done. Next thing I want to talk about. I want to talk about styles and I want to talk about adding images. The images can be a pain in the neck in Word. I'll show you a couple of tricks here. So let's say I want to put a picture of a tiger here. I click there. I go to insert. I go to pictures. They do not have clip art here anymore. You go online. You go to Bing. You look it up. I'm going to go to pictures here. And let's say I want to put this snow leopard here. I double click on it. I have it right in the middle here. That's okay. But let's say I want it narrow with the text wrapping around it. I go over here, wrap text, square. And then I can pull it down a little bit. So I have it like that. If I want to put a border on it, I'm on the format here. Click here. I've got all these nice little borders here. And then let's say I like this one. You could spend hours on here. I could change the color of the border. Burgundy. I can give it a shadow. You can do a lot of things here. I'll get rid of it. I'll just do an undo here. I did one here. I want to go into another one. So let's say I want to put over here another picture. So I'm going to go into insert pictures. Let's say we have the uh, lion here. Now watch this. I pull it over into here. Oops. I'm going to go into wrap text. I'm going to say square. I'm going to make it bigger. Watch what happens. The text is wrapping in both columns around it. So you can get very dramatic. You could set the size. I want exactly four inches here. I made it four inches. And then if I want to go here, I can move it and get it like this. So you can get very effective to do things. Next, I want to talk about styles. Let's say you decide, this is a style here. If I click inside Tigers here, it says Heading 1 here. Let's say you want a bright orange thing for Tigers because I have different critters in here. But what I do here, I click in here, Heading 1. I click in the very corner here. I'm going to customize this. I'm going to go into Heading, hover it. I click on the drop down arrow. I click on modify. I'm going to show you a few tricks here. If I go into here, I could choose a color. You can do a lot of things here. I want a little darker. I could keep modifying it here. Let's say I want to make the font a little larger. It has the bold there. Let's say I want it underlined. Uh, I could say automatically update here. It's applying only to this document. There's a lot of things here. And let's say I want to use a different font. I can go into here. And let's say I want to be Arial. I click on Arial. So it shows what it's going to look like. What's cool, it applies everything throughout. Okay. If I want it left aligned, I have center here, left, right. It may not override the control all that we did before. I'm going to say OK. And so we see tigers here, characteristics here. It did not override it. So you just have to proof it. Now it's left aligned. Doot, doot, doot. And we're seeing how it's changing throughout. Next thing I want to do. We could number the pages. I'm going to show you that also. We have a half inch bottom margin. It's relatively easy to do. We could also say what month it is. So if I'm doing this here, I want to go into the footer. I say insert. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say footer. It shows a bunch of styles here. 
I could use a really fancy style that I want here. It gives you a lot of them, okay? And let's just keep this relatively simple. I'm going to use the blank three columns. So it goes into here. So what I want to do here, type here. I'm going to type in, let's say, December 2016. That's our issue. Type here. I want to put a page number in here. You just don't type in a number here. I'm going to hit the delete key. I'm in the middle. I want to put the page number in here. I might want the word page there, P-A-G-E. I hit the space bar. I click on page number. And I'm going to say current position. Keep it simple. So it's going to say page one. And let's say you want to put something over on the right here. You click over here. You could say volume eight. Number 12. So you got that. Close out of this. So we go, if we go down to other pages here, and let's say you want more space there, you could go into here, double click, or right click and say edit. Hit the enter key. Close header and footer. We don't need that style pane anymore because uh, we finished editing. And we have too much space here. Let's say we don't want all that extra space in between, okay? We got rid of it on the first one. So what we do now, I want to change it globally here. I, it shows it orange here. We're going to expand this. I'm going to hover over this. Modify. What I'm going to do here, I want to affect the spacing above. It has 24 points here. Format. Paragraph. A lot of things you can do in here. A lot of incredible things. And where it says 24 point, let's say I just want four points or five points above it. I type in five, say OK. And then when I close this out, say the OK, watch this shoot up where it says characteristics. It's higher. The other thing, too, that we're seeing in here, it's moving things over to this column here. What you could do with this case here, you might want to make this a little bit bigger to fill the space better. And then you might want to move this up in there. You can go into multiple things here. And let's say you're going to the very end here. And let's say you want this to go over to the next column here. I'm going to show you how to automatically force columns. You go onto the page layout tab. Make sure you, I would say, make sure you have the paragraph marker on here. I'm putting this on here. I'm cl click before extinct here. So I click on page layout. And then I'm going to say breaks. I'm going to say you've got column breaks here. So you click on column here. It goes over here. And then if I want this to go to the next paragraph here, next page here, column I should say because I'm trying to keep things even I go into breaks column so we've got things relatively balanced here and it shows these little codes in here where it says column break here you don't see it here because it's in there and if you could doing this you could go a little bit what's the word crazy I hit the backspace key once and then let's say I want to get this a little higher here. Go before, let's say, corridors. And then I go on breaks, column. Still not quite even. This is where it is a little bit of a pain. You just do a little bit of trial and error. You're going to do a great job with this. So you have that there. The one thing you could do if you want to fill this space a little bit better here, watch this. I'm going to highlight this text here, just this paragraph. I could change the spacing here. They do this. It's called the letting here. And if I right-click inside here, or if I could click on the Home tab, the spacing here, this is 1.15. If I make it 1.5, it spreads it out. Other features, I do cover them in the desktop publishing class. 
contact information if you want private tutoring on the YouTube further information box.